I was on my way to the shops. I realized that I forgot my cell phone. I was afraid the Nigerian boyfriend might call and answered by my mom-in-law rushed back home. I don't believe what I saw. The woman and my daughter were eating spiders in soup. I tried to shout, but I fainted. Yellow viewers, welcome once again to another episode of African Confessions HD right here on Extraordinary Africa. If you're still new, in this show we publish lifetime confessions. Usually we post anonymously for their unsafety reasons. And viewers, in today's show we have three confessions. Make sure you watch it to the end. You will never miss. Viewers, without wasting much of your time, let's go straight into the stories. Hi, uncle and friends. Publish anonymous. Can you please forgive me? My story is a bit long. It has not been well in my life. I've been married two times before. Now I'm married to the guy whose mother forced my daughter to eat the food I don't understand. At the first marriage, the guy was loving but not hardworking. We met at a very young age and rushed to marry. We loved each other but were not mature enough to be in a marriage. Even the clothes we wore were brought by his parents. His parents controlled even our relationship because of that. This forced me to seek for a solution. I wanted us to move out from the in-laws house. Back in school days, I used to cheat on him. I have a sugar daddy. He was a blesser, but the relationship was growing. The man was a father of two, but divorced the mother. Almost of the same age with my father, but rich and good looking. The family was in Nigeria where he comes from. He came to South Africa for work. The man was serious about the relationship. He wanted to marry. Even gave me phone numbers of some of his relatives. I used to talk with his sister, calling each other in-law and in-law. He loved me, but I loved the money. I don't want to lie. It seems as if he wanted to marry. So my parents used to be out of the country with work. Sometimes when my parents were not around, I went there for sleepovers. He used to see pictures of the family on his photo. His sister's son has only two fingers on the right hand. So this other day, I saw something like baby fingers in his wallet. That was the last day to visit him. The man loved me and was afraid to lose me. He confessed in front of me that he used fingers for ritual purposes. The man wanted to get promoted at work. I lied to him that I had already took a picture and I was going to send it to his sister. From that day, I blackmailed him. He gave me anything I wanted at any time. So when the boyfriend from the school impregnated me, I blocked the blesser on phone. But when in-laws started controlling our relationship, I decided to call the blesser, telling him I wanted 200,000 runs or else I'll send the photo. I wanted us to get money to move out from the in-laws' houses. The blesser was afraid I might send the pictures to the sister. He transferred 90,000 runs to my husband's account. I lied to my husband that I won lottery and have put his name and account number. He was happy to receive such amount of money. Moved out and started a new life, but we don't knew the Nigerian was tracking us. After a month, they shot my husband when we were returning from the nightclub. I suspect the Nigerian was behind this because from that day, he went out of reach. After my parents rejected, I went to stay with my niece in Cape Town. She is a commercial sex worker. At that place, a lot of men comes there. So I met this other guy. He was just divorced by wife few days after wedding. The guy told me the heartbreak made him to seek for commercial sex workers. We started dating after sleeping several times. I told him I have a child and said he will love me as who I am. He impregnated me. I loved to his house. He was staying with his mom. The mom is so quiet and reserved. A person one could not understand what she is thinking. From her actions, she seemed not to like my child, but she kept quiet. My husband works out of the country. He comes on weekends. This other day, she sent me to town to buy groceries. On my way at the bus stop, I realized that I forgot my cell phone. 
I was afraid the Nigerian might call and answered by mom and law. Rushed back home. I don't believe what I saw. The woman and my daughter were eating spiders in soup. I tried to shout and fainted. Woke up after a few minutes. She threatened me that if I tell my husband I was going to die. From that day, I am trying to escape but my child is rejecting. The child does not like me anymore. She is always in in-law's bedroom with her. I don't understand a certain language they speak sometimes. Please advise me. I don't know what to do. Yeah, admin, please keep me anonymous. I am at 24 years old. I've been in this toxic relationship for three years. Now my boyfriend used to leave me at home for days without communication. He cheated and when I confront him, he beats me. I have caught him few times sleeping with different girls. I want out but I can't because every time when I tell him I don't want to be in this relationship anymore, he threatens to kill himself and I thought he was just scaring me. But the first time I left, he really tried to commit suicide. So I don't know how to get out of this relationship. So would it be wrong I use Muti for him to get out? I don't want to harm him. Just make him careless about me. People, I need your help. What can I do? I have lost a lot of weight. I am not happy. I have sacrificed my happiness and freedom for this man. And I can't anymore or else I'm going to go crazy. Please don't judge me. I need your help. What can I do? I admin, please post for me. I want to vent. I'm going through a lot in a way that I tried to take my life because I'm tired and yet. So two weeks ago, I overdosed pills. I know it's wrong, but that time I was very depressed like right now. So my family called my friend and her family to talk to me so that they can take me to the hospital to get help don't get me wrong i appreciate that they helped me and put some sense into my head plus transport and my friend went to the clinic with me but somehow the news spread all over after i came back from the hospital everyone started to talk about me and spreading lies fine i want to thank yeah she said to me yeah people are talking when uh, what were you doing? Look now, people are talking about you and you owe much for the rest of your life. That I went to the clinic with you, I dropped everything. It's not like I never helped here in life. I did many times. I did things that I'm not proud of because I was doing it for a year. When everyone was talking about you, I didn't stop supporting you as a friend. Everyone distanced themselves from her, even her friends, but I never gave up on her and her baby. She lost weight back and I never made fun jokes. While I know she is facing the same situation, Marayena, she can post things as a joke while those things are happening to me. Then the person who was spreading this whole thing it was her cousin. So that cousin is the one who used to gossip about her. But her response was like, you're not sure it's her. You didn't hear her. So stop it. Stop blaming Stop blaming people. Face the consequences and leave me out of it. I asked her, Kut, why do you sound like I deserve this and you're taking your cousin's side? She said, think whatever you like. I'm out. After I came back from hospital, I met her. She told me people are talking about you at my workplace. Yeah, when, what were you doing? She laughed. Is she right by saying all things, all these things to me? I didn't expect them from her. Why rub it to my face as friend? I know I messed up. Does she have right to do so? Or I'm overreacting. Yes, viewers, that was our confession for today. I would like to thank you for tuning in to our channel. Don't forget to leave a comment so that we can help we can help these people who are confessing. Also, I would like to thank you people for sharing your stories. We have learned from your stories. The most important thing is praying. When you are waking up 
in the morning say god continue to be the focus of my daily life make your presence known to me draw me close to you so that may i can know you more deeply i want to seek you all the days of my life in jesus name amen to the first confession my sister right now you need to pray set alarms on your phone start fasting and praying you need to repent for what you have wronged in the past and start building a new life for now i'll give the story to comment section deep down there i believe you are going to find help sorry for what you have encountered in life but it's time to repent and start a new life also to the second and the third confessions i'll leave a story to comment section that was it for today thank you so much you have a good day bye for now